Randy? Are we live? We're live, man, on LinkedIn and Facebook. Well, let me go back and check. Yeah. You know, I get out of practice here. I've been away for a week, so this uh, this will take a little doing for me to there get There we are. Out. We're on Facebook. All right. And we're on LinkedIn live for a Monday noon conversation. So, so, dude, did you have a decent vacation? I mean, are you back and totally refreshed <laughs> and ready to be productive? You know, I had to take an extra day. I back back when we were young. When you're young, you know, you go on vacation, you come back at midnight, and you get up, go to work the next day, right? Yeah. You've done that. Now, in my golden years, <laughs> I I always make sure I take an extra day because there's laundry, there's catching up on this, that, and the other, and so yeah, I'm off today. But Teddy, I I wouldn't you know I I wouldn't miss us being together, so I took a, a little yeah. time out of my hectic, busy schedule doing uh, house chores to to join you today. So, how about that? Cool. Hey, did you <laughs> did you lose did you lose a sock? You know, sometimes you lose a sock. You know, when you when you, try, when you come back. I don't know, man. I <clears throat> probably lost five pounds though. Um, I oh, worked yeah. hard, man. Shoveled a lot of sand and hauled water and and just did a whole lot of things we had some rain though and so that was uh, unfortunate but you know it's the beach and it's going to rain from time to time but yeah, yeah can't yeah. complain we had a great great time we'll talk a little bit more about that but first tell the folks who you are and what you do there teddy yeah everybody if they've not met me before i'm teddy burris i'm a linkedin strategist i work for uh, burris consulting mm -hmm. and uh, we're all about helping business professionals who want to master using linkedin as a business tool we do this in one-on-one -on -one coaching, mastermind groups, monthly webinars, and corporate training for teams of salespeople. And I absolutely love it when I hear a sales leader go, oh my God, I didn't know I could do that. So that's who I am. Randy, introduce yourself yeah, to folks. You, you've been doing a lot of the LinkedIn training over the years today. I remember uh, back before we had LinkedIn, uh, training was a lot different uh, versus yeah. now and with all of the technology that we have. So again, Randy Wooden with Goodwill Industries of Northwest North Carolina. I'm the director for our professional center. If you um, are a professional, you're in a job search or you know somebody that hey. might be, have them reach out. Uh, our services are free. We're happy to help. We do work by appointment and typically work remotely. So uh, here, here again, we do that. We also do some LinkedIn uh, classes, if you will, and, and have a lot of fun hanging out with Teddy every week, get together a couple times and do some professional development um, talks and, and just really try to help folks that are in that job search mode. So anyway, thanks for joining us today. Uh, got a story. Teddy, you want me to start with a story? I yeah, go ahead while I update the text yeah. on the, 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 the online. Go ahead, man. Feeling a little gunky today. So I, I don't know. It's, it's the first, it, you know what? And I was, I was, uh, sharing this earlier uh with covid shaking hands you just don't do it anymore and you just it's you don't do it right and as a result you get fewer seems like you get fewer colds if, especially if you're wearing a mask you don't touch your nose your mouth that kind of thing so for the first time in 2021 i shook a hand I actually ended up shaking ah. about three or four hands but here's this here's the situation on Memorial Day, uh, we for a week every year, I'm a part of a, a group of a half dozen or more that get together and build sandcastles, big ones. In fact, I posted uh, our Memorial Day uh, sculpture on on LinkedIn. I think it's had over 2,100 views. Uh, American flag, uh, painted um, boots, helmet, rifle, and so forth. Big thing you could stand on it. It's it's huge. And so anyway, so that we did that on Monday, Memorial Day. Well, a day or two later, I had a couple, uh, elderly couple that came by, and uh, here I am out there with a shovel and a rake in my hand and doing my thing. And uh, the, the, the wife said, we really appreciated your uh, Memorial Day um, sculpture. And I said, well, you know, it, it was really cool. And, you know, so we chatted for a little bit, and the husband's there. He's kind of frail <clears throat> and very frail. Uh, you'll, you'll get the point here in a second. So uh, I turned to him and he goes, uh, he, he, in all seriousness, he said, sir, I appreciate um, what you did. And I think, well, you know, it's, I'm just part of a team. And then I, I saw his hat and I forget the, the exact uh, wording on it, but it was evident that he's, he's a veteran. And uh, so I, I mentioned that I had a son that was in the, the military as well in the Marine Corps. 
He said, I didn't make it to the Marine Corps. He said, I was in, I think, the Army. And then he mentioned, I think, Air Forces. Well, there it is. And, uh, but, but he said, 1951, this guy, this guy went in the military in 1951. And he shared a short story or, or two. Um, and again, I mentioned about uh, my son, who's and my dad also had been in an Air Force uh, Reserve role. And then, uh, you know, a, a veteran of two branches of the service in his 90s says, sir, I appreciate you and what you did. And he stuck his hand out. What are you going to do? You know? Um, so anyway, so shook a hand. So whew, got that over with for 2021. Uh, but we had a great time. And, and, and it's so cool to see kids come up and want to touch and poke and prod things that are uh, to them realistic. There's, Hey, here's one for you, Teddy. I bet you didn't know this. Well, you have, you have grandkids, so maybe you do. You ever heard of Coco Melon? I had just the other day I heard about Coco Melon. What is it? It's a, it's just an ABC song, ain't it? Well, um, it, it's a, it's a fig, it's a cartoon figure that is shaped. It's like a, a, a watermelon. And then inside of it is a face. And they have a little antenna on the top for like a TV antenna kind of thing. Yeah. And so it, it was painted to look like Coco Melon. And these kids are coming up to the saying, and I'm thinking, why didn't I think of that? <clears throat> I could have been a multi-gazillionaire, you know. But <laughs> so here's this Coco Melon thing. It's about hip high, maybe. And the kids are just all over that. There it is. There's Coco Melon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's got a little ladybug. Yeah, there it is. Coco yeah. Melon's got a ladybug on the top. Oh, do you and, sing along with Coco Melon, Randy? I don't. I, singing's not my thing, so uh, just to <laughs> let you know. But all in all, hey, we had a great week. Got some rain, um, but it's the beach and, and whatever. And I was happy to join you guys for a little bit on Wednesday. Yeah. I hope, yeah. I hope the ratings didn't suffer too badly. So, yeah. so Su Susan yeah. pulled it off, and I'm, yeah. uh, I'm still interviewing her as a uh, long-term uh, – Fill in co sponsor or, or co host, Perfect. excuse me. Perfect. Yeah. Good yeah. deal. So that's my story is a great week at the beach with with good friends and from all over the southeast. We get together and have a lot of fun. And uh, but yeah, to get a chance to have a short conversation with a, a fellow who served uh, beginning in the early 50s um, and just to see the, the the look of thanks and appreciation on his face was um, was was very cool. Really was yeah, real cool, real cool. Yeah. So, um, hey, here's a story that I have. Accountability. So often, you know, we say we want to be accountable, and we yep. try our best to be accountable. You don't see my desk, but on front of me, I've got the stuff that I need to do, and it's in order by what I need to do. I'm a, uh, I, I, I produce YouTube videos. All, I mean, two or th I got three of them this week, but. Um, in, uh, in front of the list of videos I need to do is something I need to be very purposeful about getting done. It's a business task that I have to get done. Accountability. So we can often create our own self accountability, but sometimes it's helpful to have accountability partners. A good friend of mine by the name of Jennifer, every Monday morning at 8 a.m., it's about uh, never more than 10 of us get together. On, on a Zoom call, and the thing that she, one thing that she asks us every Monday morning is, what is the one thing you need to have done this week to consider the week was a success? And so I love it when she asks that question, because then I look down at my list of what I think I need to do today, and I make sure the number one thing, the first thing in the list is the most important thing I need to get done. So think about setting your goals. Think about not only setting your goals in your head, saying them out loud, write them down so you put them in front of you on a sticky note or however you want to put them in front of you on the top of your to-do pad or whatever it is. But be willing to share your goals with others so you can say to, you know, either a, a personal or private or a very deliberate accountability partner, this is what I need to do today or this week, yeah. and yeah. at the end of the week, stop and ask yourself, did you do that one thing that you know was the most important thing you needed to do today or this week? And if not, why? 
So goalkeeping, goal setting, goalkeeping, accountability, self-accountability, and accountability partners. That's my story for the day. So, <laughs> hey, Randy, who, who do we have coming in this week, man? Catherine Miller coming in. Catherine is a, has a master's in psychology, I believe. So um, keeping, keeping that in mind, okay, it's going to be dealing with obliterating ageism. And her, her title is Navigating Today's Digital Job Search According to Science. Mm-hmm. So again, psychology, how can we look to address and recognize, address, and hopefully deal with uh, and hopefully overcome ageism? It's out there. Uh, there are a lot of isms out there. Ageism mm-hmm. is another one of them. And that is something I think that many of my, I know many of my clients have run into. And I get asked, how do I deal with it? So I think it'll be a great show because a lot of our attendees on the show uh, on Wednesday at 11.55, there's a little yeah. plug there, 11.55, noon to one Eastern time, but five minutes ahead of time, get behind the scenes. A lot of our, our clients are and attendees are older than 40, and so they are facing some of those very same issues. I think uh, it'll be a, a, a very productive talk, and we invite your questions and comments along the way. So make sure you register if you haven't already. Make sure you do that so you'll be able to attend live. Uh, you can always watch it after the fact, and that's fine, but you're not able to engage in real time with Catherine. So all good. Catherine Miller will join us Wednesday, the, what is that, the 9th of June already. Wow, Teddy, where did oh, June Lord, man, it's flying by. Summertime is... Sort of here. I mean, once Memorial Day hits, that's kind of summertime. But yeah, summertime kicks in. What the twenty first, twenty twentieth, twenty first, something like that. Yeah. So there you go. That's our. That's going to be our our topic. And I've got a. I've got a, a quick tip. And this is also something that I've seen through uh, my work with our professional center. And also, for that matter, at the beach. You know, I got to tie it into the beach today. I mean, it's <laughs> beach on the minor. I, I wrote an article about teamwork uh, mm-hmm. that ran in the newspaper, the Winston Journal, and a couple, three weeks ago. And uh, Anyway, so it got a lot of interest, uh, certainly from the folks <laughs> at the beach, because <clears throat> that's what we talked about was teamwork and how we all get together and have a role to play, but we're not afraid to uh, pitch in and help where needed. And it's, you know, how the, some people say, well, that's not my job. That's not my job. That's not my job. We're not like that. We get together and have fun. And so my, my tip here is, is to say, don't be afraid to ask for help. So whether you're on, on the beach and you need an extra this or that, or, hey, would you spray me with this? Or would you go you know, get some water? Or would you do whatever? Uh, don't be afraid and feel like you're imposing on someone. Uh, and by the same token, it's okay to say, no, I have these other things going on. Yeah. But in the job search, I think people... In a, in a job search, sometimes feel like they're begging or groveling. And so as a tip, one thing you may want to keep in mind is what can I bring to that other person? If I'm asking Teddy for help in a job search, what can I offer Teddy that mm. might add value to him? And it, it could be, hey, you know what? Maybe I can introduce you to some of the people I know to help you grow your business. Um, but I think too often we, we just, again, we feel kind of constricted we just don't know how to break out of that. Um, but uh, giver's gain mentality is, is, is work for a lot of folks, and it's genuine. So you work for beer and peanuts. Um, <laughs> hey, every man's got his price, you know it? And, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Don't be afraid to ask for help, whether it's in a job search. And I'll tell you, and, and, and I think I saw this online somewhere recently, sometimes the, the best people to ask for help are the busiest people. Mm. because they're, they're into things. They're, they're busy. They're doing work. If, you, if there's somebody sitting around not doing anything, do you really want to ask them for help? If they're not doing anything at all, they're just sitting around? Mm. No. Nope. So um, look around, people that make things happen, um, and, and chances are they'll be able to be of some help to you. So anyway, that's the story, yeah. and that's the tip. Yeah. Good, good. Hey, here's a quick little tip that I came up with this morning. This, I was uh, helping with a group of people who are struggling to get their LinkedIn profiles a little more professional looking and most people who have a LinkedIn profile don't understand that your LinkedIn profile URL is customizable. You can make it look good and you can make it simpler and shorter and more specific to who you are. And so look under your, under your contact information on your LinkedIn profile and 
uh, click on um, you know click on a contact information click on edit and you'll see a way to edit your LinkedIn profile URL now why is this important number one the standard LinkedIn profile URLs got a bunch of freaking numbers on it. it's just daggone long and you know it's not specific to you number two when you customize your LinkedIn profile URL and you make it relevant to you as a human, not you in your role, not you in your company, not you in your industry, but you as a human, then if you leave it that way forever, then in, in time, the more you use your LinkedIn profile, the more your, your, your LinkedIn profile shows up in searches and other ways you can use it, the ranking of your profile starts to beat out everybody else. So customize your LinkedIn profile URL, make it about you and never change it. And it'll give you long-term results. That's my tip for the day. So, yeah. And I remember cool. Teddy back before they used to let you put a little hyphen in there. It had to all be all strung together. And so mm -hmm. now they've expanded that a little bit, but yeah, yeah, don't be afraid to play with it. But again, Teddy make, you make a good point. Don't change it yeah. because that just starts the clock all over again. Yeah. And, yeah. So, so don't do that. Well, good. So, we'll see you good. Wednesday, right? Wednesday, cool 55, yeah. Catherine Miller will join us to talk about dealing with ageism and doing it from a scientific standpoint. She's a psychology uh, person. And so how the mind works, well, that could be scary, Teddy, yeah. when it yeah. comes to I'll our listen mind. listen carefully. But so. we will be taking notes. I've got my little notepad right here, and we'll be ready to rock at 11.55. We hope you join us on Wednesday yeah. coming up. Yeah, cool. All right, buddy. Have a good day. I'll see you on Wednesday. You bet. Take care.